a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We're going to talk about bad treats. Won't you give your ferret a kiss? That was a horrible song. That's my intro today. This sweater is giving me major Mr. Rogers neighborhood vibes. Okay, 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 but, but I'm just saying. I'm going to see how long he's going to stay there while I do this video. Um, I am insanely happy about this. Okay, so he's really cute in my hood, but like this is pulling this and choke it. How do I, how do I get it out? <laughs> Baby, mom didn't plan this. Okay. I mean, he's happy. This is not choking me anymore. So, um, if you guys don't mind that I look crazy and he doesn't mind because he's happy and it's not choking me and we're all winning. We're just, we're just going to keep going. Nibbles and Slinky recommended a video topic for me, which is a first. No one ever like recommends a video topic. So I was really excited. And they said that I should go over some of the treats that are bad for ferrets and why, because they see a lot of people giving treats that they know are bad to ferrets. And I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. But then I also thought I want to do this, but I want to do it in normal people talk. So we're going to skip all the fancy. We're going to go through the ingredients and some of the treats on Chewy.com. And we're going to figure out which are the keywords that are bad on the top five or six listings of ingredients. Real quick, just to get this out there for anybody who may not know, I have notes by the way, ferrets are obligate carnivores. And the definition for obligate carnivore, according to National Geographic, is some carnivores, called obligate carnivores, depend only on meat for survival. Their bodies cannot digest plants properly. If you have a ferret, you know ferrets are obligate carnivores. If you don't have a ferret or are new to having ferrets, they don't eat anything except meats. Water. Water is not eating. They don't eat water. They drink it. You doing good? Are you alive? They cannot digest plants properly. Okay. Okay. No plants. Plants are bad. Reggie, you want to try this? Your brother likes it. No, I'm not asking for trouble. You a crazy boy. Support the boy. Support, support, support the boy. Weird thing that I found out during this, which I mean makes sense, but I didn't think of it. On the list of obligate carnivores that are listed on the internet, dolphins which makes sense because i've never seen a dolphin eat a salad i don't know if doordash delivers salads to the ocean this might be why they haven't eaten it mm. but it says obligate carnivore so if they ordered a salad they'd have to send it back what kind of world am i living in if you go to chewy.com and you look up ferret treats one of the top things you're going to see on there are bandit ferret treats now there are different flavors such as peanut butter banana meaty bacon uh right there the first two should have given you a little bit of a what because peanut butter, is that, is that meats? Banana, banana, is that meats? I may not have gone that much to college, but I know that the banana is not a meat. And if someone goes out there and is like, well, it's a fruit meat, fruit meat is not a word. It's not a fruit meat. So we're going to go through like the first seven ingredients, okay? So let's pick the peanut butter one. Um, chicken liver chicken chicken meal those are the first three and then number four wheat flour so on the top five ingredients we already hit wheat flour wheat is not a meat wheat is not a meat that rhymes wheat is not a meat there's also something called glycerin i don't know but i'm pretty sure if i look it up on the internet it's not meat it's probably some like scientific there's some words in here i don't know like glycerin polyligrous glycol titanium dioxide color what is that and why the fuck why the fuck is number 12 ingredients on here rosemary extract in all of the flavored bandit treats the last ingredient number 12 is rosemary extract so who was making this and being like all right we'll do like three things that are meat and then we'll just start throwing random shit in here <laughs> put some flour you know you got anything that has like a lot of words that nobody knows what it is put it in Put it and bring it on. I don't know what the hell this is, but I know that natural peanut butter flavor for number 10 is it good. No. So this is a bad treat. All of these bandit treats are basically the same. And you see them right in like Petco or Pet Smart. They're there. Like in Petco, they're definitely there. Next up, Enbo Chew Sticks. I'm going to admit something right here. I used to give my ferrets chew sticks. I didn't look at ingredients like normal people don't look at ingredients moms look at ingredients and i have ferrets so i wasn't like i was new to ferrets 
and I'm a third mom now and I own up to that and now I'm looking at ingredients and I am like what the fuck like I gave my babies these chew sticks and people would recommend they're like that's not good for them that's not good and in my head I'm like they were in the ferret section it has a ferret on them it says for ferrets it can't be that bad <laughs> you ready you ready for how bad it can be mm -hmm. <laughs> Ingredient number one, rice flour. That's not a meat. Number two, vegetable glycerin. Uh, I don't know what glycerin is, but I know vegetable, and that's not a meat. Wheat gluten. Then we have gelatin, cornstarch, water, soy protein, corn clutton meal. Clut I don't know if I typed that right. That's not a word. Clutton? <laughs> Like soybean oil, ginger, why the fuck does everything have rosemary extract in it? So like, I feel kind of nauseous reading this. None of that is meat, none of that is protein, none of that is good for them. And bone grain free chicken is on here. Looks, looks like a decent packaging thing. Ingredient one, chicken. Ingredient two, sweet potatoes. Why? Why is ingredient number two sweet potatoes? And then you got water, vegetable, and then some more glyce glycerin. That I really would, if I, I probably should have looked up what glycerin is, but I know it's not a good thing. If I can't pronounce it, it's probably bad. <laughs> if I can't pronounce it, I'm assuming it's bad. Number two is sweet potatoes. So that's no. Mm -mm. Marshall's has a freeze dried rabbit on here. We all know Marshall's is bad. If you do not know, I mean, we all should know, but Marshalls is bad. One, they breed their shit, like they breed like shit. They treat their ferrets horrible. They fucking do horrific things. There's other people with videos on it that will disgust you and make you not want to eat for the rest of your life if you go watch them. So, I mean, Marshalls is bad. If you don't know that, you should know that because they suck. They suck a bag of dicks. Can I say that on the internet? Now, the ingredients on these doesn't look too horrific. It has, it has rabbit rabbit liver, rabbit heart, and then it got something that I've seen in other stuff too. It's number four, but there's only four ingredients, but it says mixed tocopherlose aged. I don't, sounds like triceratops. It's got triceratops in it, so. The problem is I don't trust Marshalls, number one. Number two, I don't know how long this thing has been there, but I know freeze dry can last for a while, so for all I know, this shit's been on a shelf for a couple years. And number three, the reviews, kind of amused the fuck out of me <laughs> my favorite review was uh by someone called zareth cat and it says they smell like rancid fat our ferrets won't touch them even the dog who eats poo doesn't want them <gasps> that should give you a hint that they're bad so i did buy these ones the ferrets didn't eat them the cats did i mean they were okay with it to be fair, my cats are kind of nasty. Here's where shit's really gonna get bad. Ferret Vite High Calorie Vitamin Supplement. I, again, I've, I've bought this before. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't read ingredients. It says vitamins, it says ferrets. In your head, you're thinking, it's vitamins, it'll be healthy, it'll be good, I'm doing something great for them. You're not doing anything great because the first ingredient is malt syrup. The second is corn oil. Then we got glycerol monostrate, water, lecithin maltodextrin i think maltodextrin sugar that's the one thing i can't pronounce that i'm pretty sure it's some kind of sugar but the the first fucking ingredient is malt syrup if you don't know what insulinoma is please look that up it is not a good disease it's like ferret diabetes but like depressing her and then it has caramel coloring on the bottom sugar cane molasses is number eight but still it's in there why the fuck do you need sugarcane molasses in your vitamins? You, mm, I'm not one of those moms. I'm just saying like, that's like going to a store and buying a bunch of candy and being like, these are vitamins. And then your kid's like popping Skittles being like, I'm getting citric acid. I don't know what the fuck that means. Skittles aren't vitamins. This is not, your head. Oh, oh no. So, if you have ferret bite, I don't care if you spent like $10 on it, please just throw that shit out. It's not good. I understand. It's like, it's a treat. No, no. That's like saying you're going to have a shot of Windex and it's just a treat. Don't do that either. I think that's how they killed people in the movie Heathers. I don't think you should do that. 
There's one on here that I haven't seen before called Goodbye Odor Treat. Number one, anything that says Goodbye Odor, if you're worried about your ferrets smelling horrific, like, oh my god, they smell, here's the thing, take care of your ferret, clean them out, they're not going to smell, you have to clean it. Anything that poops is going to smell. You smell. For anybody who doesn't remember, uh, Wishbone had a little ad that lasted on Instagram for all of like an hour because they said, Wishbone dog treats because ferrets smell. Ooh, that did not go over good with the ferret community. You shouldn't have done that, Wishbone. I will never forget that. I don't have a dog, so it can't really affect you, but I'm just saying, you shouldn't have said that. Dog smell. You smell. Hate you, Wishbone. And piss off the ferret moths. Okay, so goodbye odor treat says chicken, chicken meal, and then number three, rice starch. Why? Maybe there was a sale on rice, and they're like, fuck it. Who cares about ferret health? Let's just put it in there. It's fine. It's fine. I'll look at carnivores, rice. Psh. Then we got glycerin again, and then potato starch. So no. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is really boring to watch because it's just me bitching at ingredients and treats, but I'm just saying these suck. Uh, and then there was one other one that says Round's Tropical Carnival Chicken. First, just punch me in the neck. <laughs> First of all, why, do, why would I want to give my ferret tropical chicken? Do they look like they need to go to Hawaii? Oh, you just slid right off. Bridgie, do you want a tropical chicken? No, I'm a werewolf. I want a werewolf chicken. That doesn't make any sense. But, oh, you have eyelashes. What's happening? What's happening? What is happening? That's Noctis. What are you giving him? Goodbye! You little weirdo. Here's something to entertain you. A quick magic trick. Here we have a Regis. And now... Kapoof! He's gone. It's magic. Just because I shoved you in my sweater doesn't mean that you have to attack me. Woo! Woo! Do you see this? He's... No, no. Benny, this sweater was like 60 bucks. This is why you shouldn't shove your ferret in a sweater, because then they take out their anger on the sweater. I did see, I saw a White Song optimized wild-caught salmon dog, cat, and ferret food topper. And I don't know what this is, but when I looked at the ingredients, this is where I got sketch. Now, I don't know how this is, but I'm assuming this is a no. Because, and I, and this is the part that makes me sad, because I feed them Y Song. My ferrets eat Y Song, so like, I thought maybe like Y Song ferret topper would be not bad. Uh, first ingredient, salmon, all right. Second is green-lipped mussels, all right. Third is cheddar cheese, followed by monorac cheese, Swiss cheese, Romano cheese, shiitake mushroom, cordyceps mushroom, mitakaki mushroom, rishi mushroom, lion, ma rishi mushroom, rishi mushroom. It's a rishi mushroom. Lion mane mushroom, turkey, and I was like turkey, and there's this tail mushroom. Why are we saying this is a topper for ferris when like, most of these ingredients are cheese and mushrooms. I'm, I might eat this at a restaurant, but even then, like, cheese and mushrooms doesn't sound that good. But, like, why are we giving this to a ferret? Why does... And it says cat, dog, cat, ferret toppers. Don't top your... Cheese is not a carnivore. Wait, that's not right. Cheese is not a meat. Mushrooms are not a meat. Carnivores. Carnivores eat meat. Obligate carnivores eat meat. Mushrooms are not meat. Bad. Cheese is not meat. Bad. Bump -bump 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 -bump. Obligate carnivores. They eat meat. Okay, I'm gonna try to wrap this up because uh, I've been talking for a while in this room and these two are like, let's wrestle! <laughs> there are some things that are listed that are definitely not for ferrets when you look up ferret treats on Chewy, but like coming up, they're coming up when you look it up. So there's a slight chance that either like Someone who's getting your ferret to treat might not be paying attention or you might just be like looking real quick being like, oh, this sounds fun and click it and buy it because you're not like reading it. Like, why song dream quail freeze dried raw dog and cat treats. That one's tricky. The main thing bad with this is like the third ingredient, the third ingredient is terrine. I don't even, isn't that like a stone? Isn't that like a precious gem? Terrine? Is that? I don't know. I thought it was yellow, like a yellow rock. I don't know. And then number four is organic blueberries, and then five is barley grass. Katie, Fiesta, blueberry, and banana. Nope. Flavored tropical fruit and yogurt small animal treats. Nope. No, it's for small animals, and I guess they're classifying ferrets as small animal, but there's a big difference between a bunny rabbit and a ferret. A ferret will eat a bunny rabbit. Um, banana bites, small animal treats. No. Vercelli Laga, natural snake mix. I can't read. 
<laughs> for silly laga natural snack mix not snake mix you're not mixing up a snake tropical medley small pet treats no stop tropicaling it's tropical meat is not tropical i mean maybe like puma puba puba puma what the hell is the puba what's the pig's name from the lion king puba puma i don't know but he had like a grass skirt on he was like you could be a big pig too wait that's tropical meat that's meat that's tropical meat but like any other tropical i'm assuming is like a fruit or like a pineapple and then there's <laughs> Vercelli Laga natural hay bouquet. Your favorite doesn't want hay. Corn flour, small pet treats. So are we all understanding why those were bad? Thanks for watching. You guys are such a turn over. Woo! There it is. If you have any treats you would like to recommend, please leave it in the comments and I will do a video on good treats for ferrets soon enough. But hopefully we at least understood what the hell I was talking about because I don't understand fancy language. I tried to keep it as simple as possible because not me, bad. <laughs> what? He's biting my sweater again. You're a little shit. <laughs> He's a little shit. Why do you hate it? He hates Studio Ghibli.